Hi YouTube, this is Randomer379 and this is the 8th part of my Pontus Campaign Chronicles for Europa Barbarorum. You can see here the Seleucid army has not attacked Tarsals yet, so I will go and attack them now. And you can see I should be able to win this, because I have strength ratio of 3 to 2. Let's see their troops. They have quite good troops. Like they have quite a lot of Hellenic medium phalanx. So I'll just show you a bit of this battle. I'm going to show you all of it. Now, I know I said I was going to show you that battle, but it was so extremely boring. And the AI did retreat, which made it more, even more boring. And they attacked in like one unit bunches. So it was really stupid and really boring. So that is why I did not show it to you. Anyway, you can see the results here. Yeah, so you can see they've retreated probably somewhere back here. You can see there's a Lucid Spy there. Yes, yeah, so sir. I think I'll go retrain that unit. I think I'll bring this unit to Antioch and then retrain it there and then send it back to Tarsos. Just as defense. Yes, yeah, so now I'm going to go march all the way over to Nikaya. And I think I'll skip all the building buildings and things and just take you to when I besiege Nikaya or when something else interesting happens. Yay, so just to put back my attacks even further. Well hopefully this won't put back my attacks. But the Egyptians went up and brought an army to attack, but I trained some new troops and so I should be able to take them on. And I'm excited to train the army around here just to keep back the Seleucids and the Egyptians attacking me. Yeah, it's quite annoying, as you can tell. So I'm just going to show you the results screen from this battle. Yeah, so here's the results screen. I've got a heroic victory. And while that may sound good, I lost my general. Which is really annoying. So I only lost... Let's see. I only lost 16 men. One of them was my general. And I think he had traits that improved his HP and everything. But he just died. They got experience, but it doesn't matter because they're going to disappear. That was a good unit. It's really annoying, but... Yeah, so you can see, it says he's dead. It's really annoying, because he was a good um, general. And you can see Antioch's un having unrest, and their population is going down now. If I brought this good general here, he should hopefully be able to help, except it will probably die soon. troops. Yeah, so, still just moving my army over. And I'll, I'll just, next screen I'll show you is when we're besieging. And then hopefully I'll be able to show you that video in the next. I mean, good there. Yeah, so now it's the turn that I should be able to take Nikaya, yep, you can see here. And in the process of those two turns, I also got a new family member. You can see he's an okay general. He's not amazing. And I don't think I can attack this turn, but I build as many rounds as I can. So I think three is enough. And I'll besiege it. And then hopefully, definitely in the next video, I will be able to um, show you the battle of me taking Nikaya. Yeah, so you can see my problem with public water is soon to be come to an end here because I've brought up my um, garrison troops. I've also built some ga garrison troops in Mazaka for um, Nikaya. Yeah, um, I defeated the Seleucid army as well in these turns, but it was quite worrying. Actually, I just auto-resolved it. And... Yeah, so that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it, and thanks for watching. Oh yeah, by the way, by next video, I meant right now. Yeah, <laughs> I got a bit confused. Well, not confused. I thought 
it was close to 10 minutes, but it turns out it was only 5 minutes. So I can go and fight this battle. And you can see I should easily win it, so I might even just go auto resolve it. Although the general is quite good. I'll test my luck and auto resolve it. And there, that was an okay victory. I lost quite a few men, but I still won it. And now I have Nikaya. So I think I'll expel the population. And I probably should have enslaved them. But it doesn't really matter. You can see I can go move this um, garrison army to Milotain now. And yeah, I know I tricked you twice now. And you could say a third time, because I did say I was going to fight that battle. So I apologise for being such a bad narrator. Not knowing what's going on at all, but I hope you can stick with me. Yeah, so once I've got the public order there, all sorted out. I think I'll just destroy this first. Yeah, now I'll build my government building. And I can retrain the majority of these. And I'll just destroy all the buildings that I don't want. I think that's okay. Yep, yeah, I can repair that. But I don't want the barracks. And I'll build a new temple eventually as well. Yeah, so you can see a lot of towns have grown now just from me expelling these troops. And yeah, that's a good thing, because it's always good to have your towns expanding, unless they get too big and they start riding. Anyway, I'll just go end this turn now. Oh yeah, wait. I won't end this turn yet. I have this diplomat up here, and I'm going to try and get some sort of agreement with the... I can't remember what they're called. Scythians? Not the Scythians, that's in vanilla. The Soromatai, I think that's... yeah, that's in... So I'll try and get that next turn. So I'll end the turn again. Yeah, so it's my turn again. And it's winter now. And I'm gonna build this government building. It's the best one I can build. It's good. And you can see the population here is not gonna be too happy most of the time. Just see how bad it is goes down to 60%, so I probably need to keep my army there for a bit longer. And I've built a ridiculous amount of buildings now. Oh, there's not that many actually. Most of them are repaired. Yeah, and as someone suggested actually, I'm gonna make I'm gonna save myself time and I'm gonna set everything to automate, except for recruitment, and I'll have them all balanced. And yeah, I'll just do that. I'll do that after this video ends because I don't want to waste my time. Well, not my time, I don't want to waste your time. And I'll just try and get that agreement with the Soromatai if I can find one of their settlements. Which I doubt I will. I can't remember what they all are. Oh, that was one. Oh well, I'll have to do that in the next video. Anyway. Thanks for watching, and yeah, stay tuned for the next part. I'll have it up quite soon because I'm on holidays now, so should be up within two days.